this is a quick tip on how to set up a previous next page in the GA4 interface. Now GA3 or Universal Analytics, you go to you know your page, all pages report and behavior, and you can actually go to something called a navigation summary. So you can see previous next pages, right? From let's say in this case my home page, people are going to various blog pages and so on. But you don't have anything of the sort in J4. I, it may be coming. Um, and there's a way you can do it in the explore section, right? But uh, you know, with the page path exploration. Uh, and but just setting it up or is a little bit of a it takes a little bit more time. What if there was a way to do like next page or previous page right here with a custom dimension, right? Because you could add custom dimensions. Right here, see, you got a custom dimension. So, what if there was a way to do that? Uh, for that, you'll have to go into GTM. So, let's go to Google Tag Manager, let's go to the page view tag, and here we have it. Right? So, you have the you're sending the page view, it should actually be called a configuration tag to, to be precise, but it's config and page view. So, here, what you do is set up a, a basic you know, um, URL refer custom variable, and call this, call the refer one here. Okay, so this is the previous path, previous page path to the particular page view that you are in. Okay, and just say this. Uh, pay no heed to this. This is to work with the One Trust and uh, GDPR compliance, which is also another whole thing that we have to do now. We should do now. We should not delay. But that's a whole different story. This one here, you save this tag. Now you go to GA4, go to your admin settings, okay? Go to custom definitions and create a custom definition. And I do not make any spelling changes. I put in referring URL to the current page path, current page, because it could be page location too. And then here, just type in URL refer, right? So once you have that parameter set up, all that needs to be done is, you know, once you save this, the data coming in as a parameter from GA4 pages will file this in URL refer and you can then use it in your reporting very much like you could, you know, do it here. So you could add a secondary dimension, which is previous page path, right? That's pretty much what you will be able to do that too. This was by default, and it's not there by default in J4. Hence this tip. I hope it's useful. Thank you very much.